Hi, I'm Heidi Johansson, and I'll be your host for this episode of Galas and Giving, Shaw TV's spotlight on local charity events. The Crown Plaza Hotel is hosting tonight's gala, and one of its ballrooms is our Dreamline Boeing 787. Our destination, the City of Light, Paris, France. Now it's just about boarding time, and we don't want to miss this flight, because this is an evening where dreams take flight for some very special passengers. Welcome aboard our Dreams Take Flight non-stop service to Paris. On our flight, Air Canada 7002 voted best magical memories, 25 years and counting. With the emergency exits clearly located, this non-stop Dream Flight is in the air and ready to raise money for the Dreams Take Flight Charity Foundation. We are a organization that is dedicated to taking children um, from socially, mentally and physically challenged backgrounds to Disneyland for the day. Working with numerous Edmonton-based organizations from CNIB to the Zebra Child Protection Centre, a place where abused children can feel safe and protected. It takes many hands to fly 120 children from Edmonton to Disneyland and back home again within 24 hours. We have a, a very huge um, support group that um, dedicate literally hundreds of hours of their time every year to uh, do events like this tonight, um, the other events that we have throughout the year, and, and more importantly, help us plan the actual day of flight for the children. Even in the, in the times that Alberta has had some financial struggles and um, we've had a slower economy, we've never had our program, that we've never had to uh, you know, cut back or scale back things. Uh, the support has always been there for the last 25 years and, and we really hope that that continues to, to do so. Edmonton business owner, Leslie Paul. Once you get involved with it, it's so exciting to see these kids in our own city um, that are so excited, never being able to go to Disneyland, their inner city, their got health challenges, social challenges, it's just a really, really great experience to see the joy that they have. Seeing a need for the children on board, Paul created her own campaign to support this cause. We decided a couple of years ago that it's really important, it's a really important thing to have all the kids dress the same, so we decided to start a dress a, dress a child campaign for $100, 150, excuse me, $150 uh, per child. So we've had a lot of people take five children, one child, um, all different things, whatever they want to give. So it's been really great. We've raised just about $16,000. So it just about pays for all the kids. Sharing Paul's compassion for children, former Edmonton oiler Jason Strudwig knows firsthand the impact this organization has on the children in our community. Well, I actually got a chance to be on one of the flights. And that obviously changes everything. You know, for many people, they're here supporting. It's great that they're supporting it. But to actually have gone on it and see what it's like, and what it means to the kids, it's incredible. I mean, you're getting to the airport at whatever it was, 2.30 or 3 in the morning, and these kids are bouncing off the walls, and then uh, you get on that plane, and the, everyone from the, you know, the, the, the people that are helping to get us on there, all, all the volunteers, all the volunteers on the plane, everyone's fired right up. And it, it's such an emotional event, and you get there, obviously we know what Disneyland's like, and the kids, again, are, are still fired up all day. It's an incredible, incredible moment for the, their kids, and it was, it was just an unbelievable experience. Both my wife and I were on one of the flights, and it's something that really changed us, and uh, it's really affected the way we, we look at uh, Edmonton and uh, the just charities we support. A trip filled with picture-perfect memories. I'll never forget, at the end of the day, uh, all the children get $50 in Disney bucks and they get to go into a store, and all the Disney bucks good anywhere there. And so I had my two little guys, and we went into a store, and they came back with all this stuff. I'm like, man, these kids are really, they're smart. They're smart buyers. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you guys got here? Like, well, I have this for my mom, this for my brother, this for my sister. So even now I get emotional about it. I'm like, oh my God, you guys don't get anything for you? Like, well, how much do we have? And of course, they were over without getting themselves anything. So, you know, they found an extra couple of dollars somewhere, uh, and uh, we bought everything for them. So, I mean, it was... It was amazing. I mean, these, these kids uh, don't have much and they're worried about everybody else and not them. So that's the biggest moment I remember that whole trip. Close to 300 charitable guests spent the evening dining and bidding on a variety of silent auction items. MC and live auctioneer Danny Hooper helped top up the fundraising goal by auctioning items from Taylor Swift tickets and in-home culinary experiences to a trip to Paris, France, which went for 6000 
five hundred dollars. Let's go five thousand dollars. Let's go five hundred five hundred five hundred five hundred five hundred five thousand five thousand five thousand five hundred five hundred five hundred five thousand. Still a good deal. The evening raised close to one hundred thousand dollars. It will be a full flight to Disneyland, making magical memories for special kids. For more information on this foundation, go to dreamstakeflight.ca. If you would like Shaw to cover your event, email us at galasandgiving at shaw.ca. From the Crown Plaza Hotel, I'm Heidi Johansson.